ready? What up? Let's get to it. So the Minnesota Vikings make some moves before the deadline, baby. Yeah. They trade Ezra Cleveland to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Not only that, but they make the move and sign the quarterback, Joshua Dobbs from the Arizona Cardinals. First thing, let's get to Ezra Cleveland. Now, I'm sure some different opinions on this, right? Some may say it was a good move, a good trade. Some may beg to differ, but at the end of the day, Quasi made the move. What would his move? And at the end of the day, it makes sense. So first off, Ezra Cleveland gets traded to the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Vikings receive a six-round pick. Now, me, in my opinion, I feel like you could have got more than that from an Ezra Cleveland-type player. You know, six runoff, I was thinking maybe fourth, <laughs> right? At the least fifth, right? But at the end of the day, it is what it is. The deal is done. But now we know, shout out Dalton Reisner for coming in, earning a spot. And we see the old line, so you're not mad at it. Now, you could argue, oh, they lost some depth. What happens if a player goes down? But you can't think negatively, right? You want to keep it positive, right? Score of Vikes forever, baby. It's time to ride for real heavy. <laughs> Them boys can still win. Them boys still got a chance. But we know it was very evident. Ezra Cleveland, he, I mean, Dalton Reisner, he brought a different energy. The O-line just feels different and looks different when him, with him in the lineup, right? No disrespect to Ezra Cleveland. He was playing well. But at this point, I think it's a good move. And I would like to see Dalton Reisner instead of Ezra Cleveland. And the Vikings really worked it out perfectly because they have gained, signed Dalton Reisner, a young player, just 26. Still got some solid years left. They got him for four mil. So at the end of the day, it's a win-win for the Vikings and they acquire an extra pick, draft capital, draft capital in next year's draft, baby. So it's all good, heavy. So you really can't argue about this trade. So shout out Ezra Cleveland, wish him the best. Unless he ever goes up against the Vikings, then you know what it is. <laughs> Skull territory, baby. Skull forever heavy. Woo! Let's go, man. So solid move from the Vikings. Now, <laughs> real breaking news. Joshua Dobbs. The Vikings acquire Joshua Dobbs, man. Trade him to the Arizona Cardinals. Now, once again, Kirk, prayers up to him and his family. Best wishes. At this point in the season, you can't replace Kirk unless you get really a top elite quarterback, right? But let's think about Joshua Dobbs. Now, will he come in and start right away? No, nah, definitely not versus the Dirty Falcons. That's, that should be Jaron Hall's spot. You know, Jaron Hall should get the chance to see what he can do. That's why the Vikings drafted him, right? See what your rookie can do, what he's capable of, what he brings to the table. Dig me, get my drift. So that's the first thing, right? That's the first business. So I'm sure Jaron Hall will get his opportunity versus them dirty Falcons to see what type of quarterback he really is and what potential he really has. But a solid move by the Vikings, heavy. They bring in a quarterback who has played this season, started majority of the season, has experience. So if Jaron Hall doesn't work, they bring him in. And once again, can't replace Kirk, man, at this moment, period. You wish Kirk was healthy, et cetera, et cetera, but they got to move on. They got to keep going, man. And I'm sure Kirk will be right there, motivating the guys, helping them learn, teaching them, doing what he can heavy, right? Being a true leader that he is, what he has shown thus far this season, dog. But Jaron Hall and Joshua Dobbs gives you quarterbacks who are mobile, mobility, can run around, scramble around when things break down. But Joshua Dobbs may end up being the starter. Now, of course, he has to come in, learn the playbook, learn the, you know, game chemistry, understand what's going on, et cetera, et cetera. Totally different playbook from the Cardinals, right? But sometimes a change of scenery, change of envir environment can be beneficial to a player, baby. So with that being said, let's get into Joshua Dobbs' stat stats this season. Passing attempts, 266 167 completions, 
662.8 completion percentage, 81.2 QBR rating. Now, those aren't elite numbers, great numbers. <laughs> but at the end of the day, Joshua Dobbs is who he is. Is he an elite quarterback? No. Can he win you some games? Yes. You saw him this season. He performed well versus the Cowboys. They had a big win. Now, he, he's going to throw turnovers. He's, he has turnovers, fumbles, etc. But at the end of the day, if he can somehow learn the system, be smart, become smarter with the football in his hands, you know, just be able to control, run the offense, not make dumb mistakes, he could be all right. The Vikings could win with him potentially. Now, once again, he's no Kirk Cousins. Let's not expect that. But his dynamic running and passing ability, you know, Kevin O'Connell can do different things. If it breaks down, he can get out of the pocket, run around, scramble. You never know. It's, you could always make a big play. A play breaks down, we see it time after time in the NFL, right? Big plays happen off of broken plays, dog. So if anything else, he brings you that capability, scrambling, being mobile. That's a plus. Everything else, his passing, he must work on. That's just the bottom line. And I'm sure this is not a the future quarterback of the Vikings. That's not why they brought him in. They brought him in for now to battle with Jaron Hall, see who will be the starter. It is what it is. Let's just be real. It's the NFL. It's the business. They needed to fill in that void. Bring somebody in with more experience just in case Jaron Hall cannot play. So Quazy good did a good job, right? Weighing his options, bringing another player in, an experienced player who has experience this year, played in some tough games against good, solid opponents. So that's a plus. 1,569 yards passing, 196.1 yards average a game, eight touchdowns. Eight touchdowns, five interceptions. The ratio is not good. That is not a good touchdown to interception ratio. So we will see how he does, but he's going to have to stop throwing picks heavy. Right now, that's his you know, weakest thing. <laughs> he needs to correct that. That comes with becoming more accurate. It could have a lot to do with coaching. You know, KLC, the QB whisperer, allegedly. So he could change his game. He could help him out. Make him, you know, improve his skills, his craft. Like I say, change of environment. Being under the right staff could help a lot. So we will see what happens. But that's definitely a concern, the eight touchdowns, five interception ratio, right? He throws picks. It's what it is. Can he get better? We will see. Seven, he's been sacked 17 times for 126 yards, eight fumbles, that means he needs to protect that ball when he feels the pressure. When he gets hit, he must protect that ball better. 3.9 average yards a, a pass. No, my bad. 5.9 average yards a pass. Not a lot. His longest pass is for 69 yards. Touchdown percentage, 3%. Interception, 1.9%. Rushing attempts, 47 attempts, 5.5 yard average. Three touchdowns, 32 yards a game average. Fumble zero. Longest run is 44 yards. So at the end of the day, you know, his biggest asset, what he brings to the table is his scrambling ability. Being able to get in and out the pocket, maneuver around, buy some time, right? And we know that's part of the NFL. You're going to have to be able to buy yourself some time. And hopefully with the line, the way it has played, hopefully it continues to have that chemistry, that bond, and they keep performing well for these young guys because they're going to need it. They're going to have to lean on them. The line will have to protect. Why not keep it going? So if the offensive line can continue to play like it has been, elite football, the Vikes have a chance, definitely, man, even without Kirk. Of course you want Kirk back there, man. Once again, shout out Kirk, respect to Kirk. Prayers, best wishes to Kirk Cousins, baby. But the Vikings got to keep rolling. No one will feel sorry for them, et cetera, et cetera. They got to get it right. Quasi O'Connell, no KOC, has to step up. Whoever the quarterback is this week, I'm sure it will be Jaron Hall. If he can't get it done, Joshua Dobbs. It's going to be what it's going to be. Put your best foot forward, baby. Football life in general, man. Let's get to it. <laughs> but that's my take, my opinion on it. Let me know how you feel about it, man. The Vikings make a move. Joshua Dobbs. Trade Ezra Cleveland. 
Do you agree with it? Do you disagree? Are you happy with the move? Let me know. Fire them comments up. Fire them comments up. You know what it is, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and rolling. Score vibes forever, baby. Woo! <laughs> yeah.